Welcome everybody, your host AMF1534 here, and I welcome you to Let's Play Batman for the NES. <laughs> and all I have to say is that this game is totally fucking awesome. And you'll see why. You'll see why. So before I even waste any time, let's just play. That's what this the whole point of this is, let's just play. This is one of my favorite games, for multiple reasons. A, it's just awesome. B, it has one of the best soundtracks for a game that there ever was. C, the graphics are actually surprisingly pretty good for what time period this was. So the, uh, the basic premise of this game is very much like really any of them. You go through each level, you kill all the shit that's in there, you get power-ups, and you avoid dying. And that's really all you gotta worry about. So there's multiple things that will drop off these enemies when you kill them, like the bee that does pretty much nothing besides points, I'm pretty sure. There is that one, which is the ammo, and if I can get one to drop, which it probably won't, uh, there's a heart that'll drop that obviously will replenish your health that's sitting right up there on the top left corner under your name. Which you get, looks like eight hits there, which, unless you totally suck at this game, you should be just fine. I'm unfortunately not doing that well, because I have not played this in a while. So, pardon my inability to be good at this game right now. I used to, like, know this down to an absolute T. It was pretty sickening. Maybe I'll pick it up here in a minute. Here's a nice little secret so you don't have to go uh, that way. Yes, Batman can wall jump. It's awesome. Anywho. So, completely off-topic stuff here. My iPod got the new software update, and it fucking deleted all my music. What type of bullshit is that? Like, what software update would delete all of your music? Like, what? There's no point in that. So now, I'm taking a light break from downloading all of my goddamn music back again, and I'm pretty upset about it. Yes. Oh, I forgot to run down the weaponry here. So, this is the the Batarang. Obviously, you just saw me throw those, so they don't need any real introduction on what they do. There's the uh, the bat gun and the spread shot thingamajig. Oh no, bad idea, bad idea. So, this one, the Batarang only takes one piece of ammo. This one takes two, this one takes three, you get the point. Even though there's really no point in using the other weapons because this one does far more damage than everything else, so you should just stick with that. It's really worth it. I promise you, I really do. So, uh, what the hell was I gonna say here? Um, oh yeah, this part's really fun. <laughs> there's just this guy sitting here. Do not allow him to come out of here because he will kick your ass. Anyways, about three minutes. About three and a three and a third minutes in, it's time for boss fight number uno. This guy is incredibly easy. Just avoid that, and then throw the batarangs when he comes back around. It's really that easy. <laughs> He's dead. I didn't say this game was hard, but actually it is. But you'll see why later. The first two zone areas are not hard. Oh god, I love the music. I'm gonna tell you, the uh, the Nintendo definitely got their money's worth and their usage out of the uh, the sound chip for this game. Because they went all out for music. So I'll let you just listen to it for a minute, because it's just tight. So I'll see you in a minute. Anyways, so you kind of you kind of get the gist for how fucking tight this 
soundtrack is. Um, yeah. So I just realized how quickly this LP is gonna go. But then again, I didn't really anticipate it to be very long anyways. Okay, I do not like this part, because it follows you, and it explodes, and that's bad. I'm trying to remember the name of this zone. I'm pretty sure it's like the, uh, the Axis Chemical Plant. I think that's what it was called. I don't remember. You could go this way, but since I know everything, you just go this way. <laughs> I've always wondered what this thing is. It kind of always reminded me of, like, spaghetti for some reason, because that kind of looks like a fork. I don't know. I was a weird-ass kid. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. Make very smart usage of your wall jumping, everybody, because it's a very integral part of this game. Because I fucking said so! Hey. Oh, I really need some more health. I never... What are those things? Like, what the shit are those things? They're like little spiny, like, RC cars of death. I don't like them. Ugh. I don't know what these guys are doing here. Whatever happened, I, I beat him. Whee! Oh, yeah. Batman's getting quite the workout right now. Christian Bale is getting his money's worth right now. Or Val Kilmer, or whoever you want to, you know, give credit to for whoever played the role. I don't really care. Yeah, I don't like that jump. It's a very awkward jump to do. Ah. There we go. This is the hard one. I have always had a problem with this. Very rarely do I ever get this one down without dying, and that guy just committed suicide. <laughs> I love watching that guy die. I got it, alright. I usually never get that. Anyways. Now that I'm apparently not in the chemical plant anymore, where exactly am I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of looks sort of like a, just a regular warehouse. Anyways, when you come back for the next episode of Let's Play Batman, we're going to get to the end of this place. Whatever it is, of course. And then we'll have our second boss battle in store. So until then, I will see you guys later. Peace out, bitches. AMF1534 saying goodbye.